ask you to venture out with me into the cold again and to go up to where Hoddle Street meets Alexandra Gray, the Eastern Freeway. And I want to take you there for a particular reason. What if you people in the room are fairly familiar with that spot after we did a campaign four years ago? But I want to start by using that space to describe a little bit of what we have in front of us in terms of transport uh, policy in this state. If you turn and face the eastern suburbs and you look through what's in front of you, you can see some metres ahead of us the reservation that for almost 50 years has run along there for the Doncaster tra train. Unbuilt, but still possibility. Now, I'm sure Ms Davis will talk about this, but as I understand it, the Liberal Party is promising not one, but not, not two, but three megatoll ones for this state, adding up something like $30 billion. And one of the things that they're going to do is run the North East Tollway, partway down the eastern, and then, too scared to actually bring the east, bring the east west tunnel right back into the seat of Richmond, because I think we scared them off last time, they're going to run a huge tunnel somewhere to take people out onto the other side of town. And with that, as far as you can tell from their very sketchy plans, they're ruling the possibility of the Doncaster Rail. Now the ALP is not talking at this point about the east-west hallway. Similarly, I think, I think she probably shouldn't rile at the people of Richmond with that proposition. But they are proposing the Westgate tollway. And they're proposing the North East Link which at one point will be 16 lanes wide coming through the eastern. And if you're wondering where those 16 lanes are going to be fit, you're right to think that it's the reservation for the train. Now I mentioned those two examples, and I'll talk in a minute about the Greens vision, because it shows very literally what we see with road planning and public transport planning in this state. Those roads will literally take away the possibility of the Doncaster Rail. But we also know that billions of dollars spent on new toll lanes generally takes away from the possibilities for public transport, for bikes and walking. And of course there is another way. Now I don't want to suggest that there's no public transport being offered by the Labour Liberal parties. But increasingly and overwhelmingly, it's ad hoc, reactive, it's like something you're getting in your Christmas stocking. It's not the sort of planned vision, integrated with land use, integrated with development, integrated with jobs that we need. And we could have something different. At the moment, one of the great things that the government has done is Melbourne Metro 1. But they're saying that we won't start planning for Melbourne Metro 2 until that's finished in 2025. You know, by 2050, we're talking about 8 million people in Melbourne. And increasing road use with, for car use is not actually going to be feasible anymore at that point. So what we'd like to see is the Greens are starting planning for Melbourne Metro 2, which would join the Mernda Rail through to Newport with a new route from Clifton Hill into the city, possibly a North Fitzroy station, and which would free up the very, very congested strip of rail between uh, Clifton Hill and the city. And with it, give us, as I say, a new way. We'd like to start that being planned the day of the next government, so from the beginning. Because too often what we do is have this stop-start approach to um, public transport. We'd like to the service improvements that are promised for Melbourne Metro to start in 2031 to come forward to when it starts on its first day in 2025. But at the moment, the planning we have is all based on prioritising roads and very little about public transport. One of the problems with our road planning, our transport planning, is that at the moment we have fragmented, disparate, often contradictory uh, organisations planning for roads. And one of the things that the Greens have proposed over a number of elections is one strong, central, organised public transport body, like great transport cities such as Vancouver um, and Zurich have. And that would deal with the problem we have both 
that we have an oversized domineering big roads that constantly wins out of the public transport and forget about bikes and work, uh, walking. But it also requires us to take back control of public transport and to think about it in terms of the public good. I might talk a little later about transurban, but at the moment we basically have public transport privatising all sorts of ways, including that a company like Transurban effectively planning which roads we run, building them and take, taking toll rates, so taking toll revenue like a privatised government. I'm hoping in the questions I can talk uh, in more detail about some of the other things the Greens might do, but I just want to flag very quickly, the Greens support a new and updated Walmer Street bridge, and I hope that my colleagues here will do the same, and not just promise it, because for example with the Gibbs Street steps, I think they've been promised two or three elections now by DIG, and they haven't been built, and we need the Walmer Street bridge built. I'd also like to challenge the planning minister here today to go a little bit outside our area and commit to protecting the sacred trees on the Western Highway, some of them up to 800 years old. Another example of growth on there. Now this seat, seat of Richmond, is an ultra marginal seat. And you can send an incredibly strong message about what you think should happen on public transport through your vote here. And in a very finely balanced government, where the ALP has got its in government by just one seat, there's a real chance that if you turn this area green, we can be in the balance of power, negotiating for better by public transport. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from uh, our other representatives here and answering your questions. And I want to really urge you to think about a vision for transport that's bigger and bolder than what we have now and that delivers for Victorians. Thanks.